let's take a look at WinPlot. Now right here is where the download is. So I'm going to right click and save save link as. And then you can uh, save it wherever you want. You just have to remember where you saved it at. Uh, I'm going to save it uh, right here in my directory. Click yes. I already did it to test it. And you um, you probably have a link here. You can click on it to run it. Or if you go to your folders here, you can change that directory. And uh, then I'll run it here. This is a free program that was developed by, um, I think it's Paris something. Um, I have an Exeter University. But if you choose window here and you choose two dimensions, now I can do my page up and page down to zoom in, zoom out. Probably not a bad idea to make them roughly uh, negative 10 to positive 10 in both your x and y axis. Now if I choose equation and choose explicit, explicit is when you have it solved for y. And see so you got f of x equals, that's the same as y equals. So let's say I have uh, y is equal to x. And then I press OK. That will give me my graph. Now you can um, edit this if you want or just delete it. I'll delete it just to keep things simple. Now I'll choose equation, explicit, and let's look at y is equal to x squared. Now how you do a power is the caret. On a Windows keyboard, the, this caret between the x and the 2, that's above the 6. So you do shift 6. And then click OK. Oops. Shouldn't have the y equals there. <laughs> Let's try that again. There we go. And that'll give us our graph. Now I'm going to do x to the third. So I do an equation, explicit, x caret 3, and press OK. And that's our x to the third. Now press delete here, do equation, do explicit. Now if I want um, uh, more than a single number in my exponent, like uh, y is equal to x to the one half, I'll do x caret, beginning parentheses, 1 divided by 2. So if you have more than a single number or a single variable in your exponent, you have to put parentheses around it. And then you click OK. Let me delete that. I do an equation, explicit. And let's say I want to look at the square root of x. Uh, that would be SQRT, beginning parentheses x, closing parentheses. That's how you do the square root. And then I do OK, and it gives us that. Now, I don't remember all of these myself. The more obscure ones, I have to choose equation, and then down here is a library. And this helps, tells you how to put in the different uh, items. So you may be sitting there wondering, well, how do, I, how do I do this particular graph? Well, if you come here, you can, uh, you can find out. Like you see, absolute value of x is abs, beginning parentheses x, closing parentheses. So let's take a look at that. I'll move this to the side. I choose equation and choose explicit and absolute value of x. And that'd be our graph. Now if I wanted to do the uh the third uh third uh root, that's how you do it here. Now another name for third root is cube root. So if I do equation, choose explicit, and I type in root, beginning parentheses, n. n is the nth root, so I put 3 in, comma, x, like that. And then press OK, and that gives us that graph right there. Now we're not limited to just um, typing in just x. That'd be kind of a bad tool if you were. we do a delete there. And um, I choose explicit. Let's say I want to do 5 absolute value of x uh, plus 7x, assuming that's not too far up on our graph. So 5, how you do a times on this is with an asterisk, abs x, so 5 absolute value of x plus, I think I said 7x, and click OK. That's an interesting graph. 
Um, so you're, you can put any kind of combination in here. Now in this class you'll have some uh, problems to take a look at the graph that isn't solved for y, like x squared plus y squared equals 9. Instead of choosing explicit, which means it's solved for y, you have to choose implicit. So if I choose implicit, you see um, they already give you an example, but I'll do x squared, so x caret 2 plus y squared equals 9. This will be a circle of radius 3, so I click OK, and that gives us our graph. Choose equation, choose um, implicit. You can type anything in here. You could have the absolute value of y minus absolute value of x equals uh, x squared minus y squared. I'm not sure if what this will give us. Click OK. Oh, that's um, that's pretty bizarre. Uh, gives us that shape right there. Now you don't have to turn any of these in, but um, if you wanted to, then you could uh, come up here to File. And you could say bitmap to clipboard, and then you could paste it into Word or whatever. But that's how you use this on uh, graphing uh, utility.